So there's a new way of creating kick drums inside of the grid. And this was found out by Kaifu and Headhunters inside of the Bitwig Discord. They tried to figure this out. And the goal of this mission was actually to create a kick drum where the tail end of the kick drum stays in place when you change the pitch envelope. So more or less like the kick drum plugin I showed you in the last video. So to create this, we need here a sine oscillator and we need a segment for the pitch envelope. Or you can also use here, let's say, um, something different. You can also use an AD um, that's maybe quicker to set up. An AD for the pitch envelope and also an AD here for the amplitude envelope. We use an output here and we want to control this here with an oscilloscope. Um, yeah, and then we also use a gate in to actually control here or reset the oscilloscope. So normally you choose a pitch or a root pitch here for the kick drum. And I go for, let's say G zero. And this sounds like this. Maybe I'll put this here into fast mode. So you can see we have some kind of kick drum now, but there is no pitch envelope or no, no pitch change in the attack phase. So now the idea is instead of shaping here the pitch or changing actually the pitch input or also here the pitch offset, sometimes people just modulate this here. We actually go into the phase input here and just modulate here with the output of the AD, the signal output of the AD, we modulate basically the phase of the sine oscillator. It sounds like this. Right, uh, nothing special, but sometimes you get something like this here because you bring the, or you disturb the phase too much. Uh, maybe I can replicate this here. Yeah, something like this, right? Um, that doesn't sound well, actually, in my opinion. So we have to circumvent that, right? Um, so the magic, the magic trick now is to use a multiply, multiply the signal with a constant of minus ten. So now we get much more phase disturbance in the beginning. Much, much better knock. Sounds very good in my opinion. Um, but now the important part is actually if we switch on here retriggering on the sine oscillator, we have basically the same phase of the tail every time. Doesn't matter what we do here to the pitch envelope. So this gets interesting because we can now, let's say duplicate this, maybe not in this patch, but maybe you have a different patch on a different track, right? A bass sounds, for instance. And you can completely disconnect everything here. And when we play the same note, of course, we need to play the same note because then the phase is exactly the same. So let's say your bass plays on G0 and your kick drum also ends up with the root note on G0. You have the same phase alignment then. So here we use a different color. You can see this here at the end. We slowly fade basically exactly the hill and the tail of this kick drum is the same. Um, I can't show you this better. Maybe you have to choose your slower, lower numbers. Maybe a bit longer. So even though we changed the, basically the pitch envelope, as you can see here in the beginning, we still end up in the same, with the same phase of the sign with the bass. Right? It always ends up in the same. So the phase alignment is basically zero problem now uh, when you modulate the phase input of the sine modulator here with this signal of the AD and then multiply it by minus 10. Um, so 
yeah, it's basically perfect. Um, so maybe put this here back up to G0. Another benefit, in my opinion, is that you have much, much faster control over the attack phase, over the knock of the initial knock, and you get much more variety out of the transient here uh, because you just play around a bit with the um, decay setting here and also with the phase amount setting. Right, more soft attack. This is more like a hard style kick drum, I don't know. Or maybe a more clicky sound, something like this. And the face, as you can see, stays rock solid here. So this bass sound and this kick drum sound always align in the same way and it's rock solid, right? So this is actually a neat trick uh, to create kick drums inside of the grid. Minus here this bass, minus this oscillator, uh, minus this. Um, so this is basically here the base setup of creating a kick drum that's, um, yeah, where the face aligns very well with the bass sound. So this was, like I said, was found out here in the Bitwig Discord by uh, Kaifu and Headhunters. Thanks to them, I put this uh, small preset here in the description down below so you can download it and you can try it out for yourself. Leave a like if you liked the video, subscribe to the channel and um, have some fun. Bye.